to my channel and for today this is gonna be a sit down video about so before we proceed with the sentiments of your breadwinner I will define what is a breadwinner to you guys based on my description so first and foremost a breadwinner is a person in the family who is a provider in other words or in other family situations, um, we have the father as a usual provider. In some cases, it's the mother. So sometimes when both parents are gone, the eldest child of the siblings, for example, they set as an automatic breadwinner, an automatic provider for the, his or her siblings. So, in my case, um, I still have my father, I still have my mother, but I'm the eldest. And in every Filipino family, there is this instant, um, it's an instant responsibility that you will help with taking care of your family, your siblings, financially, and also in other matters like decision making sometimes. Um, you take care already of all the difficult financial things that needs to be handled and sometimes even the education of your siblings. In my case, I am currently in that shoe and it is quite difficult, very difficult, but you have to understand that sometimes this God-given responsibility is actually a blessing. You you mature early and being that mature person actually is a good practice for you when you have your own path. Like it is a reason for you to actually step up and actually even for yourself. Apologies for the background. Okay. Okay, so but this is also for yourself because it gives you a sense of responsibility and you can learn from it as early as whatever age you have actually felt the pressure. So before I actually give my five um, short messages, um, I would like to say that you're amazing. You have come this far and if you're still beginning, then you can do this. This, there's a purpose to why you're put into this situation to why this was given to you and there is no way that you should just give up so this is like having a life that was given to you and you have to just keep going just have to be strong and life goes on you know you just take every challenges that was thrown to you okay so so let's proceed with the messages. You're so brave for entering 2021 with your head up high. You may be alone or away from your family this year or even during this holiday. But remember that you have God and you have your strong self to celebrate life with. You have suffered emotionally and financially over those years. But in just a few days, another chapter is about to unfold, another journey wherein you are in control and you can choose the path that you want. You give your 101% to your loved ones. Maybe this time you give the half of that to yourself. You're independent, strong, and family oriented. Those are your core assets. Pray for it every day that you remain thankful for what you have. Bless us as we chose to be selfless even if we have the option not to. 
so i hope um, i hope you enjoyed this video and let me know about your opinion anything that you want to say um i know that we're all struggling in the end of this year a lot of circumstances that we're not expecting a lot of dreams that we're actually trying to build but let's just stay positive and faithful to what we want to achieve in the end so thank you for watching and i hope i have inspired some of you so please subscribe like or just comment um, i would love to hear from you see you again next time